It is the first day of the fall semester at Portland State University. Can you believe that? So tomorrow and Wednesday morning, students can visit the Urban Plaza to get donuts and coffee and directions to class. Also student services and other places on campus. So joining us live this morning with more is Portland State President Dr. Ann Cudd. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's how exciting. Season. It is very exciting. I, I am looking forward to students coming back to campus, faculty, it being a very vibrant place to be. Wonderful. Uh, let's talk about PSU's role in downtown Portland's uh, recovery. I know that you're uh, on the Central City Task Force, right. which is looking at ways to improve downtown Portland. Uh, how can Portland State University fit into Portland's resurgence? Yeah, I think it's really important that Portland State play a role in this. We are, after all, the largest downtown uh, landowner downtown, and we really need to, to be a, a, an important part of that that recovery. So I think that one thing is we can just bring our people back to campus and make it a very vibrant place to be. But of course our research, uh, our faculty's research really addresses a lot of the problems of homelessness, public health, um, climate change and things like that. So that's another way that I think we can really contribute. Um, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to learning a lot from that task force and also to contributing um, Portland State's ideas to the to the mix. Yeah, well, this is your first first year as president of, of Portland State. Uh, what's that like entering? You know, the, your your first school year, your first term. What what are the what are the feelings like and the energy on campus already? Yeah, well, it's really exhilarating. So last week we had our faculty and staff convocation. It was a beautiful day in the park blocks, um, outdoors, and uh, we had the choir singing. It was just a, a, a gorgeous day. It really gets me energized. I mean, the first day of school. I can't even tell you how many years now I've had a first day of school, but <laughs> it's always exciting. How many students are at Portland State University right now, and how does the enrollment compare to previous years? Yeah, it, our enrollment has declined somewhat. Of course, our numbers aren't exactly um, set until uh, a few weeks into the term, but we have around 22,000 students um, headcount. So, and that's declined quite a bit. Um, over the years, um, so over the past 10 years, we were almost at 30,000 about 10 years ago. So that's a significant decline. Uh, a lot of our students are also part-time, so when you look at the full-time equivalent, it's, it's a much smaller number than that, in fact. Hmm. Um, I think the pandemic had a significant effect, and I think this year will be the first year that we're really fully back in person uh, on campus, and hopefully that energy, as well as some things we're trying to do to make um, the return on investment for our students uh, even higher uh, will be helpful. Uh, I was wondering if the pandemic, you know, how, what role that plays in that. Of course, you know, cost of living, inflation, you know, educational costs, everything is a bit higher than it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are the kind of the plans here in, in your first year to, to tackle some of these things head on? Yeah, I, affordability is a really big issue for me and for all of higher ed, I mm -hmm. would say right now. As I was saying, that return on investment is really important. So one aspect is the affordability, and the other aspect is what can you do with your degree once you once you graduate. So first of all, I'd say that Portland State is one of the most affordable universities in the state of Oregon. So that's part of it. But we're also looking to make sure that we can match. We're we're, we're doing a strategic plan uh, this year, and as we do that, we want to make sure that our degrees match up with what employers need. So we're going to be looking into to, to, to some, for some help from industry in, in that strategic planning process. And also, what is it that our students really, really want? Mm -hmm. And what do they aspire to? How can we put those two together? Yeah, uh, one of the new things that you're doing this year, you're actually offering a degree in uh, Latinx uh, Chicano studies. That's right. Uh, you've had that curriculum on yeah. the campus for a right. number of years, but now you're actually offering degrees in that discipline. So yeah. tell me about the thought press process behind that and uh, why you think it's important, especially in this political climate, right. to have that. Right. Well, I do think it's really important for us to make sure that all of our students feel like they belong. And we have a growing population of Latin A students. Uh, it's now 23% and we're considered an emerging Hispanic institution. Um, and so that for especially that population, um, looking at their, uh, their culture and their history uh, is really important. So I've, I've met a number of students who have added that as a major or a minor and are really excited going forward to, to have that as part of their, um, their degree program. 
Um, I think it's really important uh, for us to do what we can to make sure that our students belong from day one so that they come to really believe in themselves and become whatever they aspire to be. Mm, that's wonderful. I just can't believe we're talking about the first day of school for college students already. It is just, <laughs> this year has flown by. Uh, President Dr. Ann Cudd, really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much for having yeah, me. Thanks yeah, for thank you for here. being here. And again, for more information about enrolling at Portland State University, you can go to pdx.edu. All week long at the Oregon Zoo, uh, it is.